Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how it works with the protecting secrets. The protecting secrets it's uh, something you can put inside uh, the Docker Swarm. It's only supported in, in Docker Swarm of course because it's it's like a system environment where you put it could be a SSH key, it could be a file, it could be just a text string uh, like a password for a server and then it will be keep secret inside the Docker Swarm cluster managers and the workers and when you need it you can push it over to a single uh, service or stack and then this will saving a file on the, the container so all the other containers can see the system environment like the password and you cannot expect um, expect the single uh, container to see what happening because the, the secret is binding directly inside the folder for a, a container that, that's what I want to show you here so let's uh, starting here. The first one to do is uh, creating the database YAML file, and inside here I want to use the version uh, 3.7. And the service we want to to create today should be a MySQL service. So I will create it here, and then we say the image should be the MySQL, and then we take the last image of the MySQL, and then we have the basic one. It's the environment here. And for this we need the MySQL user. And just a test user. And then MySQL database. Let's say it should be demo database. That's fine. And then we need the, the MySQL root password and then you just say root that's fine if we save this and going out and say to so do docker stack deploy and then we say the db jaml file and we call it the db then you can uh, see we have creating the the network default for this and the mysql services so that's uh, that's perfect and that's uh, everything we need because if I'm saying here sudo docker ls oops, services ls then you can see we have the database MySQL and we have replicate zero but let's try to expect this uh, docker container uh, so let's say whoops sudo docker inspect and then we take the id and put it inside here and then we get a lot of stuff we need to uh, scrolling up until you hit the environment variables we are using it here you can see the task completed the task template sorry and then the container specs and down here we have um, the environment and you can basically just inspect this and get everything uh, out the database the root password and the mysql user so if someone have get access to expect this one it can see everything about the user so if you have a monitoring uh, where you can see stuff like the environments and something like that about your containers then every single uh, person that get access for your uh, administration panel will basically have access for this and we don't want this so let's scroll down and what we want to do now it's uh, creating our first secret and the way we do this is say echo MySQL pass that's the password we want the new password and then we say to do docker secret and then we want to create and we say it should be the db root pass and then the minus here then we should have a uh, secret created let's confirm that so to do docker secret ls and we have it here see so we have it here um, and, and the next we want now it's just playing around a little bit so let's copy the database and we want to copy it for secret and jump file and then I want to go inside the secret here and you can remember we have the, um, the docker uh, secret so what we want to do now it's coming this out and save it 
and I want to go inside and say we have a secret and we call it db uh, root password and then we need to in the, in the bottom of the stack file we need to define uh, the secrets and where it's coming from we say db root pass and then we will say external that's meaning we take it from the external uh, list we have and it's inside here if we want to to use a secret like a file or something like that we can do the same here and then we're going out and we just found deploy here and then say secret and if we say inspect again so do docker inspect uh, let's say the docker inspect we have it here and if we're going upside now and say the system environment a little bit you can see the secrets here that's what we bind secret ID and we cannot see the password anymore which user we have binding for and if we're going a little bit up with system environments here you can see the database and the user still here but the password is gone and you can't see the password we have the password and the password we, we define say MySQL pass and you cannot see it here so that's the secret and isolation is the default you have the different isolation options and then we can go down again and open the DB secret and then we can go up here in the MySQL and MySQL have that nice thing and you can say underscore file if that's meaning if you use the underscore file it's no it's uh, coming from the file and it's not all the services out there that support this feature so don't take it as a as a default as a, if you say the configuration in the node and say host underscore file and then it's the host port is coming from the file I know that's because I've seen a lot of videos uh, out there so I've seen uh, the, the MySQL here support the file and that's why I have it in my sample and the secret when you create the secret and put it inside the container it's uh, going inside the run folder and in the run folders we have the folder called secrets and inside here I have the name db root and then the pass exactly the same name here and what we use here is the same here if we're going out and I'll close it down and I'll deploy that again it should happen and everything is running well and I can see expect it one more time and then we can go up and see the DB password is still here and the environment is still here so nothing new under the sun so the next I want to introduce you for in this video is how you easily can create um, uh, change the password so if you have uh, different passwords and uh, you update the password uh, let's say from version 1 password to the version 2 password and you have a lot of containers using this password you can just rolling out in, in steps when you need it and you have changed the code for that that's what I will show you that now so the first we want to do now is uh, taking the copy of our database scale and we will call it database scale a database uh, secret version 2 and then we're going inside to edit and I'll say this one and then we're going uh, below now uh, down here and we will create an alias so let's say the stuff we want to create should be up here sorry and uh, the source should be Uh, db pass version 1. I will create that a moment and then I will go in here to say target whoops is equal to root pass and down below here I will use the database db pass version 1 And I want to go up here. This is not working. DB1. 
Okay, so what we have done here is saying the secret, it's going from data database, password one, and we take it from the external, and then we load it into the secrets as a source and give it a name target uh, root pass. The target is the alias for this secret. And that's why I'm using it up here too. If I go down here, and then we need to create the password. Let's say echo uh, pass v1, and then say sudo docker uh, secret create, and then db pass v1. And that's how we're doing. Underscore let's see yes. So let's say we want to say sudo docker stack deploy and then we say db secret um, version two jumble file and should be in the database here. Let's see how it's working. And it's working perfect. So say sudo docker uh, stack uh, ls I'll say ps db then we have it down here and say so do docker stack inspect uh, and then we are going up here and now you can see the secret whoops the secret is changed up here that's running up now you can see the database here and the environment up here it's the same and an environment will use um, the, the file now and that's all we need and says so to do docker container ls should be here but it doesn't so that's probably some uh, mistake I have done in, in this video about the MySQL is running and that's not my point but if you log in say docker execute it container name and then base then you can say cd uh, run secrets and then you can say uh, ls la and then you can uh, see what i'm speaking about when you log into a container and use it so i really hope you enjoyed this video and you know what secret is and i think i have seen from the beginning the workers could read it too but if i remember correct it's only the manager node that keeps the secrets uh, and then push it out uh, in the, the stacks and then deploy it out for the worker. So the worker doesn't have any connection to the secrets you have creating it. And that's something uh, with the security purpose, I think. And it's make pretty good sense. Thank you so much for this video. Remember my uh, YAML file was found on the GitHub. It's the link will be in the description down below. And of course, I hope you can will follow me both here on YouTube with the subscribe button in the right corner or we'll hit the follow button on the Git, uh, GitHub. I hope you want to share this channel, like it if you want and add this video for your playlist so you remember that and of course I really hope you want to share with your friends and thank you for subscribing.